never gets old, man. It never freaking gets old. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and it is Horde Night 70. So we're going to try, <coughs> excuse me, our new base design. I've got a whole bunch of pipe bombs in my inventory. And um, so we're going to use a combination of melee and explosives tonight. Uh, we do have uh, two points. We're going to throw those right on into intellect. We need three more points to get intellect to nine. And then we'll use the nerdy glasses to have an effective 10. And then we can start working on our advanced workstations <clears throat> excuse me so uh, I got my tunnel here I've got my vulture cage and um, we'll see how things go tonight uh, we are currently sitting at um, 3306 kills all right let's do this oh what's that thing um, let's take a, yeah, let's take a coffee too, so we can keep, keep our stamina up a little better this time. Okay. So far, so good. That works reasonably well. Just the main thing is, is we got to make sure it doesn't fall in the pit. See, even if it falls in here, it's still going to thump the uh, zombies that are closer. See, that one went in, I think, went in the pit. That one probably landed okay. Yeah. Getting it down there will help a little bit too. There we go. Nice. Let's see what's in the bag here. Okay. Oh, do we have um, nerdies on? Let's take a look. Yes, we do. Okay. That's what we want for maximum XP. That one went in the hole. So did that one. I mean, this is not the ideal design for explosives, but... You know, if we can get them to work a little bit, anyway, that's always a good thing. There we go. Beautiful. Just about got the next level here. Awesome. If we keep this up, we should be able to get those three levels. And get uh, to intellect nine tonight. Oh, I threw that one a little too soon. Where the hell's all the zombies? <laughs> There's no way we killed the horde yet. It's not even midnight. Maybe all the rest of them are down in the pit. Yeah, here comes more. I'd be super, super surprised if they broke the the ramp already. I mean, they didn't hardly touch it last time. That was just a little momentary reprieve, I guess. Okay, let's get some bleeds going here. This is actually working out better than I thought it was going to. All right, here, let's do this. That one's going to go down in the pit, I think. 
Okay. Just throw it right there then. Too soon. Whatever that thing was that had the scythes or picks or whatever one is it was in his hand, he's dead now. Okay, let's get some more pipe bombs down. Oh man, that's nice. That got us like a half a half a bar there. Oh, this one should get us a good one. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. If we kind of wait till they get up on the second to the yeah, that one fell in the hole. That one did too. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, the best strategy here. That one go went in the hole. There we go. Okay. So let's just wait until we get a couple more. There we go. Got a bummy. He's going to give us some XP. Nice. Yeah, so this is actually working pretty darn good, you guys. Pretty darn good. I think the, the main key to this is to get the pipe bomb thrown before they get in the way where, you know, they can block the throw. Can we get to that? Yes, we can. Nice. See, now that time I was a little too late. Okay. That one went in the hole too. That one should work. But even if they do, you know, kind of group up here, then I just throw one right down here. And that'll clear the ones away that's standing right in front. We got a pumpkin head. See if we can get past his head there. And I don't know where that one went. Beautiful. Scary girl. A little soon on that one. Well, maybe not. We'll get we got a couple anyway. <laughs> it's a little, little unusual, but it's working, you know. Oh yeah, we got. Got a lot on that one. And I mean, you know, pipe bombs are so cheap to make, too. Pipes, grass, and some gunpowder, you know? So the cool thing about this is this can be an explosive design until you run out of explosives, and then you just switch to melee. All right, let's check uh, some repair action here. I haven't really given him much chance to even get up here to bang on anything. Some of the damage is just splashed from the explosives. Yeah, there's four skill points. <laughs> we might be able to get, we might be able to get to our four by four after all. It's not even one o'clock in the morning yet. No one must have gone in the hole. Okay, let's just wait a second.
never gets old, man. It never freaking gets old. Okay, that does it for our pipe bombs. Uh, we have some some buzzard action outside. Let's see if we can get him to come down to our buzzard cage. But I want to just make sure everything is touched up up here, okay? All right, buzzies. Come at me, bros. There we go. And it's morning. What a spectacular horde night, man. Just beautiful. We got uh, five levels and we're over halfway to the next level. Cannot complain about that. We're going to have to kill the rest of these with the melee, which is not a problem. Is he going to fall off? Yeah. If I can get it one slice off on him, he's toast. Um, actually, you know what? We should probably go out there and get going on the bags before they disappear. We might run into a few ferals, but we'll be ready for them. Stuck. Let's uh let's get these on the toolbar. 
Come over here, big mama. They're all coming back up the ramp. Everything worked beautifully. Hold still. Okay, let's get our luckies on. Sounds like there might be a couple more. Oh, are we going to get hit? No, no, we're not. Okay, let's check these quick. Nice. All right, let's get down in the tunnel. Look at the bags, man. Look at the bags. Got a Spear Hunter magazine. What are you guys still doing down here? Just kind of derping out, huh? More steel. We're going to need lots of steel for the 4x. I think it takes like 150 or something like that. Yellow AK. Oh, did we pick up a treasure map? All right, pretty decent loot. Yeah, we did pick up a treasure map. Okay, let's get rid of that thing. Uh, well, actually, we might as well scratch, scratch, uh, scrap it. I was going to say scratch it, scrap it. Oh, yeah, that gives us uh, those thing thingamadoodles. Okay, let's learn this. Spears to great 20% slower. Not that we'll probably ever use them, but you never know. All right, fantastic coordinate, guys. Fantastic coordinate. Um, this ramp is in really good condition. Just pristine condition. They barely touched it at all. Um, so that is really good. Um, I'm just going to pop steroid because I don't want to limp all the way back up. So where's our steroids? Don't tell me I don't have my steroids with me. I don't think I have my steroids with me. Uh, okay, we're going to limp up. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so... Um, uh, the plan now is going to be to move, move to the South, but you know, we got, we got five points. So maybe what we do is we go South, scout a location, choose a location, secure that location, but maybe not do the full blown move until we get the four by uh, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll just kind of see how things go. Um, I still have a little more stone digging I could do here. And the advantage to that, of course, would be that we would get uh, more materials and XP and that sort of thing. Um, but I, I think at the very least, it, you know, during this next in-game week between now and 77, I'd like to have um, chosen a new home, even even if we're not like fully moved into it. So here, let's pop one of these, and we might as well take a uh, hobo as well. So let's get up to the top here. We'll take a look at our points. Oh, man, this is so close. Um, okay, so we got, we're going to repair this. I've got uh, some gun repair kits. I don't know if that's probably going to knock it down to green, which will throw off one of our mods. Yeah, it did. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well... I think I'd rather keep the rad remover on it because 
you know, the drum magazine's nice, but I don't usually blow through an entire magazine before I have to reload. Of course, that'll change now, but, <clears throat> you know, we just need that uh, rad remover against um, irradiates. But we'll probably eventually come across a, another higher level one, I'm sure. But yeah, I mean, the base is just in super good condition. I mean, we, we've got a lot of splash damage from the explosives that we'll have to fix. But I mean, you know, the explosives do minimal damage to the blocks. So you can see most of the bombs were landing on top of this one. And you can see it's still in very good condition um, overall. So um, if, if we're going to keep doing this, which there's no reason not to, because, man, this worked out so good, uh, I should probably upgrade these blocks to concrete too just to make them a little tougher anyway let's go ahead and take a look at our points we got five points to spin we are going to go um uh intellect nine but we don't need to take 10 because if we put these guys on we now have intellect 10 effectively see look at that awesome all right now we want to get advanced engineering up all the way to advanced engineer so that we can make the blacksmith forge for jars, the auto workbench to make the other stuff, um, you know, like the Jeep and whatever else, and just, you know, move up in the world. So we just need one more point, ladies and gentlemen, one more point, and then we can make that stuff. Um, and I did buy, you know, the, um, the four by four, um, schematics. It only cost me 3000 a pop, which for us is nothing. Uh, so we can now make the accessories and the chassis. We just need the uh, mechanic workbench to do that, which we should be able to make. Um, let's go back to here. We get advanced engineering. It's Well, this says auto workbench, but I think... That must be the same as the mechanic workbench. I'm guessing that's the same thing. They probably just need to update the text or whatever. Okay, guys. Well, uh, I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to spend the rest of today, day 71, uh, you know, fixing up the base, um, doing the garden thing again, getting the, you know, next, the next set of crops harvested, that sort of thing. And um, if there's time later on in this this day, uh, maybe we'll go down south and I'll start the next episode. If there's not, then we'll just wait till the morning of day 72 and we'll head down there. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.